Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you go against yourself and you deplete your body. And it will take longer for you to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 286, NASDAQ up 224, SP's up 53. Gold, gold contract up $4.10, trading at 1658 an ounce. We have silver up 16 cents, $19.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 34 cents, $84.00. 92 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, trading up 25 ticks right now, 110.17. The 30-year is up a full point, plus 25 ticks at 120.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 1,049 ticks, 110.940. Euro is at 99. Yen is out here at 147.97. And the British pound's at 114 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, they're gonna, looks like they're going to run it right into the close again today. It's going to get really intriguing because you got Microsoft and you got Google coming out after the close. Uh, bottom line, you just took out the swing from uh, 379.46 this morning. That has... Uh, 88 million shares traded. We're not going to do 88 million shares, man. The SPY is 53 million right now. Yesterday, we did 85. So you can see what's happening. As, as you get into higher price, bottom line, you get a contraction. That's what counter trend bounces are all about. NDX 100. We go into the NDX. We take a look at the NDX. What do you have with the NDX? NDX out here, bottom line, up 531. You're going after the swing. The swing it's going after right now is at 384.18. Um, you know, yesterday we did 63 million. It's going to be tough to do that today. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, once you get into this uh, 284.18, which I expect we will probably come in into the close, you just don't know. I mean, they might run it and run it in a big way. Now, let's go over to Microsoft right away because what you have is this Microsoft's on an ABC structure up. So, you know, it, it could be a yin and a yang after the close here. Bottom line, what Microsoft had done. Taking out the B point yesterday. So on Microsoft's case, we got 243. So it's uh, 24, A to B. You got uh, 34, 54, 64, 68. All right. Oh, 28. Did I say 28? Hold on one second. Make us get this right. 43. No, no, no. 19, 20. Yeah, 48. No, no, wait, wait, okay, one second. 43. I got it. Okay, 24. That's 24. That's right. 24. 58. Yeah, 258. 258. That's the ABC structure on uh, Microsoft. So, bottom line, that has a lot further to go. Um, Google, let's go to Google and take a look at Google because they both come out. Thanks, Duffy. I appreciate it, man. They both come out. Um, ASAP after the close, folks. So you got Google running into. Well, Google can do it too. Interesting, man. Google might do it too. The the B point on Google is 104.22. You're over it right now. Now Google's not. If Google gets six billion shares, which that can get into the close today for sure, then you get another ABC up. One of our tigers, uh, give me a heads up on the IWM. So picture. So the diamonds right now are in an ABC up. As is the IWM. The IWM is blowing the B point away today. The B point, they need 34 million shares. You get 25 million right now. Now, what happens with the small caps, folks, is that the last trades, for some reason, can throw four, five, six million shares in. So we'll see where we get it. I suspect more than likely we will get it. Um, you know, if, if we do get that volume coming in, uh, on the IWM, uh, the bottom line is that you are going to see uh, a 183. And right now you're at a 178. And I just go to the dollar, okay, because it's all about this dollar, man. This dollar finally broke, and you broke with conviction. So we take a look at this dollar. What you're going to have, you can see, 
You broke with conviction. That's saying dollar wants to go to 104, 636. Let me just look at this one. A uh, much wider one. Okay. So 104, 636. And bottom line is that what I expect you're going to see out here is that you're going to see the aspect of... Um, that down. We're going to see the commodity start running. Let's go to gold first. We take a look at the gold contract. Uh, bottom line, gold's up 420. Still not enough juice, but, you know, we'll get there little by little. Uh, gold rejected 1641 out here today. You're at 1658. Uh, bottom line, you know, we'll... So what you have, you do have a pullback with lighter volume. This is the, the... The cool thing about what's happening with the gold market right now, this is the second time. So you had the sign of strength come in on the 28th of September. You did 280,000 contracts. We went from a price pan of 1622 all the way up to 1738. You did a total retracement, man, except that, guess what? You, you took it out by a buck, I love it. You took it out by a buck, another sign of strength, bottom line, this thing wants to run up to this uh, 1738 area. So, you know, volatility is gonna be in spades. We're gonna have some volatility no doubt coming into the close. My, my take is they're going to run it right up again into the close. That's, that's how this thing is shaking out. Um, that, that's the, so the ABCs I was just talking about, uh, on the IWM, that's a daily ABC. On the Dow, that's a daily ABC. On the uh, spies, which I put in there a little earlier, Jimmy, that's in an intraday ABC structure on the way up. Uh, but it's a little tricky, but... This bar did take out the other bar with volume. You know, we took out the uh, 384.21 with volume. You can see this right here. 978,000 shares versus 836. You know, so bottom line, folks, wants higher price. We have a counter trend bounce in spades going, and there's nothing like being basically, what are they, uh, what are they when you're ambidextrous? That's the bottom line. Bull. Bear, come to daddy. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 305, NASDAQ up 231, S&P's up 55. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.